Bits and Pieces, an interview with Herman Chinloy by Rich Lowe. Herman Chinloy is a record shop owner, Aquarius Records and Halfway Tree. He's a recording studio owner, a producer. He's done singing himself that's been released commercially. And he also is a chef, a sorrel chef, makes great sorrel for Christmas time. But what I'm trying to do right now, what we're trying to do is pass on the information to the next generation that is to come to understand there's some things that are foot mm-hmm. that they're not, that, that they don't pick up on. They need to go and do the research because I hear them talking a lot of foolishness, which is, it doesn't pertain to the current music that is going on. There's something comes from that start, that has a beginning and it has an end. Like Christ is the A and the Z, is the beginning and the end. So when we're talking about the beginning and the end, we need to find out what start the music, where does it start from? Mm-hmm. So this generation that is here now is, is, is picking up on a lot of things that was, was not so. They are not rooted and grounded into something that, that has a beginning and has an end. Let me tell you what happened. It, I had planned to um, have shops all over America yeah. because the business was that's the, that's the way to go. Yeah. So. The chain. Yeah. yeah. So we, there was a shop called Aquarius mm-hmm. in Miami, mm-hmm. and um, there was a shop named Aquarius, like in Connecticut. Uh-huh. So you had record shops named Aquarius. Right. So I would have to get some lawyers to do what I had to do. Mm-hmm. A matter of fact, there's a place in Jamaica, a chicken place called Aquarius. And I knew the guy, and the guy knew me. So it was, it was from that, he named the place Aquarius. But I um, wouldn't get into that. We got the name just because it was the age of Aquarius. Right. So what you're going to do here now, is you're going to supply some of this? Oh, yeah, definitely. It okay. Be edited up. And I'll take little bits and pieces. And what I'll do is, sometimes I'll be quiet, and that's because I'm listening to what you're saying. Hey, from what you're saying, Bits and Pieces was a title of one of my albums yet to come out. Ah, who's on Bits and Pieces? <laughs> bits and Pieces, pieces of American music, ah. like um, the intro. So I would say Bits and Pieces. Ah, interesting, interesting. <laughs> I, ju- I just didn't get it out. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> so that music that you didn't get out, that stayed at Aquarius Studio? Um, Just some thoughts. Thoughts... A lot of thoughts in my head, mm-hmm. which was not produced, like mo- a lot of um, artists would have um, over the years. And then one day when they get the opportunity, they would um, eventually produce it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Let me give you another track from the Aquarius Arsenal, Part of You. This is Aquarius Records with, I think you're on this, right? Could be me singing. Let's listen. All right, this song, what I realize when the song is finished, it's not me originally to write that song. It could have been, um, what's, that, what's the name of that group again? That's me singing. I'm trying to remember those golden days. <laughs> so you thought it might not have been you, but you, it is. I know it's me. Oh, okay. But what no, there, there's somebody that I sing a song, The Tribulations. Ah, um, that's the name of the group? The name of the group. Um, something on the Tribulations. and the, the, um, Tabulations. Where did you develop the, the singing style? Because you got a nice voice. That's a really good voice. Well, the voice comes depending on the song. Mm-hmm. Because my expression is depending on the song I'm singing. Mm-hmm. That I can um, 
bring out these melodies. Um, now that I've gotten a little older, is um, the melodies seems different. It, 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 I'm, 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 I'm not as um, what you call. It's like the old wine skin and the new wine skin. Mm -hmm. You have to know about the, the, the that's a biblical uh, term uh, term as well. I, I did those, the Linval terms and the sugar mine at, at Aquarius. Okay. I, I just talking about feeling is right and... There's a um, channel one. Because I wanted the bass and drum sound. I had made some good money monies out of those songs, you know. Yeah. The, 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 at, the, at the shop, uh, selling the records at the shop. I didn't sell them to Randy's, which was the next best place. Yeah. Um, just selling them out to the shop because I was, I had an idea of exclusive expensive all the time. Ah. Exclusive expensive. In that, what I was doing is, is not just a regular, I was, whatever, what I, whatever I was selling then, I would have it, I alone sell it. But it's exclusive. It's expensive. You got to pay for it. I would double the price at one instance. Like, um, for instance, Nostalgia Transcend, that album, yeah. I, I sold album there for quite big money mm. because it didn't have no label, no label. And um, the people wanted those songs. Mm -hmm. The, 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 the um, collectors knew those songs. Mm -hmm. The other people wouldn't know those songs, mm -hmm. only the collectors. So I would give it to like Meritones, Gemini and the people from that dance would come and buy them because they know that songs, know, know those songs. Aquarius dub is the first dub album made in Jamaica. The first only dub album because I know the business and they're all telling lies that they're, they're the first and second dub album. They are, you're correct, your first and sec, sec, the second and third. I am the first and I know that. I, didn't, I'm not, I don't want any accolades. I just want what is truth. The truth is that my album came out first because I was there when the people were asking me for that type of music and I put it on an album. Then when you set up that album, Aquarius Dub, Aquarius One, did you set it up as a blank to kind of make it look and feel like a dub plate? Was that intentional? Correct. I made it look like a dub album because I wanted it to be sold as a, as a dub album and it, it didn't have any name or anything on it. So uh, the first album that came out, it was so, sort of, I didn't have any, not even white label because I wanted to make it look authentic in terms of looking just like a dub, which was just blank, which could not, could not have been pr prolonged because after a while, the, 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 uh, the album would get stuck on the, the thing because it, it, it didn't have any paper. So the next st step was to bring it out on a white paper. Did you understand that? You know that his family man from the whalers. Giddy up. Come on, Rich Low. Not so slow. We're on the go. Don't sit in the back row. Let's flow like J. Lo. He is the brother of Lloyd Chinloy, and the duo opened up Aquarius Recording Studio after Aquarius Records was opened in Halfway Tree. Herman Chinloy goes back to the year 1965 when he first started working in a record shop on King Street, One Stop Records. And from there, he became one of the top record salesmen in Jamaica when he opened his own Aquarius record shop in Halfway Tree on Constant Spring Road. Aquarius recording studio on the second floor became a top recording studio and the first 24-track studio in Jamaica. Herman coined the name Augustus Pablo for the great Horace Swaby. And he produced some of the greatest artists of all time coming out of Jamaica. Bunny Whaler, Barrington Levy, Dennis Brown, Ernest Wilson, Ken Booth, Augustus Pablo, Little Roy, the Hippie Boys, the Now Generation Band. 
In this conversation with the great Herman Chinloy, we cover a range of topics. Sit back and relax for this lesson in Jamaican music history. For more good information, check us out on the internet at reggaejamaicaway.com. And we also want to thank Olive, Ruth, Father Bunny, and Janelle for their assistance in this project.